Hello, my name's Chris and I work for the fire service. I work with lots of people who are here to keep you safe. I'd like to share a story with you called The Adventures of Frankie the Fire Dog. Frankie meets Octahose. My name is Frankie the Fire Dog and I am a firefighter. I work at the fire station. Firefighters work as a team to keep people safe. If there is an emergency, we are always there to help. I would like to share one of my adventures with you. One sunny day, Octo, the octopus, was sitting in his garden reading his favourite book. Octo could hear laughing. He looked up and saw some children playing on the riverbank. They were putting some sticks into a big pile. Octo watched as the pile got bigger and bigger. One of the children took a lighter out of their pocket and set the pile of sticks on fire. Octo was very worried because he knew how much damage a fire could cause. He quickly called 999 and told the fire service where he was and what was happening. The fire was getting bigger now and the children were very close to it. Octo asked them to move away from the fire and explained that the fire service were coming. The fire engine arrived quickly and the firefighters put the fire out. Luckily, no one was hurt. Frankie talked to the children. Fire is very dangerous and you should not play with it. What did you light the fire with? He asked. One of the children took the lighter from their pocket and showed it to Frankie. Lighters should only be used by adults, they are not for children, he said. A small fire can become a big fire very quickly. Yes, said Octo, if the fire had grown any bigger, it could have spread to the woods and hurt the animals who live there. It could have damaged my house. The children were very sorry and said that they didn't mean for the fire to get so big. Well, said Frankie to Octo, your quick actions have kept everyone safe and the woods have been saved. Have you ever thought about becoming a firefighter? Octo didn't know what to say. He had always dreamt about becoming a firefighter, like his best friend, Jilly. Why don't you come to the fire station and try? We're looking for new firefighters to join our team, said Frankie. That night, Octo thought about what Frankie had said. He would love to join the fire service and to help people, but he wasn't sure he could do it. He was worried people would laugh at him as he was different and he was not sure he could pass the tests. Octo called his best friend Jilly and had explained what had happened. She listened and said, go and see. You will never know what you can do if you don't try. Octo knew she was right, so the next day he went to the fire station to do the tests. Octo waited to see if he had passed. He was very nervous, but really excited. You did really well, Octo. It was amazing to watch you put the equipment together so brilliantly, said Frankie. I think we should call you Super Octo Hose. Welcome to our team. Octo was very pleased and proud of himself. He went to see Jilly and told her the good news. Well done, Octo. I knew you could do it, said Jilly. Thank you, Jilly, he said. But I think you mean Super Octo Hose. They both laughed and laughed. He couldn't wait for his next adventure as a firefighter to start. It's really important to remember Frankie the Fire Dog's advice about keeping safe from fire. If you see matches or a lighter lying around, please tell a grown up. Never play with matches, lighters, or lighted candles. Thank you for listening. Keep safe.